Quen released a massive model today and it's called Quen 3 Omni. It is the first natively end-to-end -end Omni model AI that is capable of understanding different things. It can understand text, images, audios, and videos. Here's the quick demo. Can you quickly describe to me what I'm holding right now? You're holding a phone in one hand and iron in the other. <laughs> Now in this video, I'll be testing Quen 3 Omni 30 billion with 3 billion active parameters, specifically the instruct, which is the instruction tuned version. But here's the thing though, Omni actually comes in three different types. The first one is the captioner, which is built to generate captions from audio. Think of like subtitles, transcriptions, or meeting notes. And the second one is the instruct. This is the general purpose model for following commands. And this is non-thinking by the way, if you want thinking, we have a thinking model designed for deeper step-by-step -step problem solving. Another thing that you need to know about instruct and thinking is that instruct can respond to you in text or in audio, while thinking can only respond to you in text. Now let's break down some of the key features of this model. According to the benchmarks, Quen3 Omni achieved state-of-the-art on 32 benchmarks and overall state-of-the-art on 22 out of 36 audio and video tasks that even puts it ahead of Gemini 2.5 Pro and GPT-4 all transcribe. And look, this might be hot take, but if there's one model right now that can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gemini or GPT, that's gonna be Quen. Now what is interesting about this new model is how much audio it can process. Quen3 Omni can handle up to 30 minutes of audio input. That is a huge context window, and it opens up a ton of possibilities for long-form conversations, meeting transcriptions, and possibly more. So with all that being said, let's move on and try this model ourselves. I'm gonna be using as many resources as possible to see how impressive this thing is. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do first. I'm going to use Quen to help me play chess. I have here chess.com and I'm gonna ask it which piece should I move first, okay? Oh, by the way, this is just for educational purposes only. Don't do this with players, it's just unfair. <laughs> But first of all, let me just type my prompt. You are a chess player who is an expert at this game. Help the person or the user play the game against another user. And just underneath of this, we have voices. Currently, it's set to cherry. Um, we also have the return audio. That means it's going to respond to you in audio and text. We can just disable this because honestly, I don't need the audio. I just want the text so that I know which piece I should move. So I don't need audio for that. And it's gonna be faster. Also, we have the temperature and the top P and the top K. I'm not gonna do, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna change all of this. I'll just leave them as is. So with all that being said, I'm going to start recording a video and then I'm going to submit that. And then hopefully it's gonna give us something that will help us move the first piece. Okay, so currently I haven't moved any pieces. This is the default board. Can you help me choose which piece I should move first? I'm not sure if I described it well. I'm not really a chess player. So if you're a chess player, you can just this me in the comments below. Anyway, let me just send that and see what's gonna happen. So now we should start processing the video. Of course, as white, you can start with a pawn move. A common effective opening is to move the E pawn to E4. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. So I'm going to move E to E4. I'm going to move that one there. And now my enemy moved the pawn e7 to e6. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tell Quen that my enemy moved the pawn from e7 to e6. And now my enemy put the e7 to e6. You can see it right over here. Now tell me which piece should I move next? This is definitely cheating, <laughs> but this is pretty interesting. <laughs> okay, your opponent has moved the E pawn. A good response is to move your D pawn to D4. Okay, so what I have here is D to D4. Okay, so you have D right over there, 
and I'll just move it right over there, just beside the previous pawn. Now we have this. Let's wait for the enemy, there you go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tell Quen that the enemy moved the pawn from uh, d7 to d5, okay? Okay, now the enemy has moved the d pawn to d5. What is the next piece I should move? You think I'm gonna win this game? <laughs> it's gonna take so much time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this. But how funny would it be if I win this game? Thanks to Quen. <laughs> okay, your opponent has moved the pawn to d5. A good response is to move your c pawn to c4. Okay, we're just moving pawns at this point. Okay, this time I'm not gonna tell Quen the moves or the enemy's move. Instead, I'm going to show it the entire board. Just so I know if it understands the whole thing. Can you tell me what's happening and what is the next move I should take? Oh, interesting. No, it was not c6. It's supposed to be h6. Let me try and correct it. I think you misunderstood the location. The horse the, or the knight did not move to c6. Instead, it moved to h6. Double check. So it's quite unfortunate that you need to specifically tell Quen where it moved. I was really hoping you don't have to do that. You just need to show the board and it would understand. Okay, your opponent has moved their knight to c6. A good response to this is knight to f3. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pick my knight. Which knight though? I have two. Okay, so I'm going to pick that horse on the right and move it to f3. Just like that. Okay, there we go. I got eaten. <laughs> okay, now my enemy ate my pawn. What should I do next? Okay, your opponent has moved their knight to see. No, he didn't. <laughs> it ate my pawn. A good response is developed. No. Okay, you know what? He just repeated the previous answer. You can see it right over here. It's the same thing. Okay, we're gonna move on from this and do another experiment okay so let's move on from that this time i would like to do something close to music so the prompt is you are a music instructor who can help or guide new guitar players identify the chords or notes being played in a guitar so with that said i have my guitar here and we'll just do small notes and hopefully quen could identify those notes so let's see this time i'm going to return audio hi quen can you tell me what chord is this? That was G, by the way. Oh, that's an E major chord. It's pretty common, one in a lot. E major? Oh, that's an E major chord. It's a pretty common one in a lot of songs. Got any other chords you're curious about? That was not an E major. This is an E major. That was G. Okay, this time what I want to do is ask it what is happening in the video or what is in the video. So let me just record. What is this logo? Can you tell me about this logo? Focus on this logo right over here and tell me what you, what you know about it. It is super unlikely that it knows that logo, but you know what? Oh, that logo you're pointing at? It's actually the official you... What? Oh, it's talking about that. <laughs> no, I'm talking about this. Come on, man. Come on, you can't do this to me. Okay, I'm gonna try again this time. I'm gonna do something else, okay? I'm gonna do something else. Okay, this time, tell me what I'm doing. Like, literally describe to me what I'm doing, okay? This is not gonna end well. I mean, guys, this is just for educational purposes only. I'm just testing, okay? I wanna know if it's gonna be able to understand. Or you're sitting in a chair with a microphone in front of you, wearing headphones, then you st stood up, move around a bit, and finally sit... Come on, you've seen me for a few seconds. Come on, you could have said something about what I did. Uh, whatever, I guess. <laughs> Now, if you're interested to know the voices, here are, here they are. Oh, hi, Cherry. How's it going? Oh, Ethan, what's up? How's your day going so far? Oh, hi, Jennifer. How's it going? Oh, I'm Ethan. 
I'm into music and tech. What about you? I'm into music and tech. What about you? That's a fun one. It's a playful way to say you don't have any fish. Overall, this is obviously very impressive. And the fact that this is open source, it opens up a ton of doors to solve different problems. This can help people with physical disabilities to interact with computers and LLMs like this can understand you based on what it sees and what it hears. This can also help you find your lost, I don't know, puppy in the middle of a pile of- One more use case that I can think of, which is to me is quite sad, is many people would stop watching videos like this one that you're watching or lessons and instead of you know watching they would ask AI to watch the video for them and students might skip the process of you know learning and go straight to what is the answer and honestly that's kind of sad but regardless this is really really cool and a really fun experience I highly recommend you guys try this out yourself if you want to try this locally unfortunately most of us can can't run this locally the minimum GPU memory required to run this model is guess what 80 gigabytes that's just the minimum by the way but if you want to try this you can use Quen app you can only use Quen 3 Omni flash though which still to be fair still puts a pretty impressive benchmark score but what do you guys think do you have projects in your mind that you would like to make with this model let me know in the comments below and if you guys enjoyed watching this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to weekly health for more videos like this one thank you for watching i will see you in the next video bye